<laughs> I had kind of a speech ready for Tom because um, every year John Cook and some of the other members of the committee ask me about players that you know we're looking at and my thoughts. Uh, I announced my first Valpo football game in 1991, my first Valpo basketball game in 1992, my first Valpo women's basketball game in 93. So this is a special day as well. So for the last nearly 30 years, I've seen a lot of these people go through the university and Tom is one guy that I've told throughout the years deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. So this is important for me and it's great to see uh, Tom back who was uh, one of my all-time favorite players because the offensive lineman never really got the recognition. And it's been, I think, nearly 15 years or so since an offensive lineman got in. So uh, well deserved and uh, Tom just want to start by congratulating you and maybe get your thoughts on what it means to be in the Valpo Hall of Fame now. All right, well thank you. I appreciate it. I, not much of a talker so it's nice to be paired with a professional talker. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, it, it means a lot. Um, it, it's, it's quite a pretty good summation of uh, you know a career here in, in, in kind of just grinding away, um, you know, over my years, we actually got progressively worse. Um, but, uh, so winning wasn't always the best thing that happened to us, but we did win the first conference championship in 51 years, so that was pretty good. Um, but, uh, you know, he touched on the offensive line. I, we were kind of like the unsung heroes a lot of times, I think, you know, we were, we're not really the statistical monsters uh, that I've played with, you know, that are, you know, got the David Mackeys and the Rob Colas and Eric Kennessys, all the guys who came before me in the Hall of Fame. I mean, these guys put up stats. You know, my stat is height and weight. That's about it. So, um, but but it, is, it really is a, a great honor to, to kind of culminate everything in, in, in something like this. So, how about how about some people who were important when you were at Delpo? All right. Well, first I'll have to thank my parents. Uh, parents are sitting over there. Um, they travel a lot, as well as my grandparents. They're kind of like the super fans. They've unfortunately have not been able to travel like this any, that much anymore. So, uh, but my, my, my friends and family, um, I gotta thank uh, Coach Maddox. I'm glad he could make it today. Uh, he recruited me and kind of helped me steer me in the direction of, of making the decision to, to, to come to Valpo. Um, I, I would feel remiss if I didn't thank uh, Rod Moore and Steve Tucker and whoever we buy our athletic tape from because they did a great job taking that <laughs> together and getting them back out there to play and stuff. So, uh, um, and then just, just my teammates. Um, there's some, two of them are here today and I really appreciate it. Um, it meant a lot to me playing with all these guys and there are a lot of guys that I've played with that I'm still in touch with. So it's, there's a pretty long list, but. I know you've had a great experience at Valpo. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you mentioned you guys won a conference championship. Was that the ultimate highlight? Um, yeah, that was probably for my career here. That you know, up until this point, um, that was probably the ultimate highlight. Um, I remember the scariest moment uh, was my when we were when I had to snap the field goal, or the, for the point after for the, the for the, against Dayton to beat Dayton for the first time in school history and win win the conference championship. So that was a little scary, but that that whole game was 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 awesome. So uh, I would say that it's probably Tom played offense, but I remember there was a defensive stand at the end of the game, um, and I remember the headline in the paper was defense wins championships, but it was a grinded out tight yeah. game. I think the final was 16-15, yeah, I think like it was the final score, and Valpo had to beat Dayton to win the conference championship in 2000, and had never beaten Dayton before. Yes. So that was obviously an incredible afternoon at, at Brown Field. All right, how about now? Um, you, We heard project manager, but we know that you've used your engineering degree to, to do a lot of things and you've kind of traveled around uh, working on projects. Maybe tell us a little yeah. bit about what you've been doing. Uh, so sort of, since I graduated, uh, I pretty much worked exclusively into the uh, utility industry. Um, I worked in Chicago for Commonwealth Edison for about 10 years. After that, packed up and moved to Oakland, California, then back to Chicago, then back to, uh, then out to Baltimore, Maryland, then to Baltimore, Maryland, down to Lexington, K Kentucky, where I currently live now. Um, I did, I, I've done everything, I've built uh, in the way of, I kind of pride myself at least work-wise for having built a substation and transmission line on both coasts. Um, and uh, you know, I, I really enjoy what I do. I've been doing it for years now and uh, the only thing that tops that passion is, you know, my wife and what we got, uh, we'll be having our first baby in the end of March, so that's gonna kind of consume my new passion and my new, uh, <laughs> my new uh, kind of goals and stuff, so, but uh, 
after running around for a little bit, we're slowly starting to settle down and raise a family. Great. Everybody, thank you very much. We thank Tom Burke.